this girl this gotta go because i'm not even about this life no more look look how short girl this is when i Welcome back to my channel, a place where we discuss everything mom likes. Um, we're just going to get into it. None of the like formalities that we usually have. Today, it's Saturday and I'm cleaning. I'm like transitioning my um, wardrobe over here, which is like my clothing rack of all the main clothes that I wear. And I'm transitioning it from winter into spring and summer. I know I'm a little late, but I procrastinate big time. So I'm finally making myself do it today um i've already started a little bit i have clothes on the floor that i'm going to separate into piles i'm going to be purging a lot of things that i hadn't worn i didn't wear if i didn't wear them last spring and summer they gotta go so i usually do that like twice a year and yeah we're just gonna get into it i'm gonna let the camera roll and let you guys see how i do i'm wearing this um dress it's from h and m and i like it because it's really comfortable and it's like a house dress to me. I wear it in the street too. I wear it outside. I dress it up, but it's just really, really comfortable. A lot of you guys got this dress from H&M last summer or last spring. It was a hit. I should have got, I want to say they had different colors. I should have got all the colors because literally this is the best dress in the house, outside. It's just comfy. I can let my fat hang and just do what I do. So anyways, I'm just going to get started. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know if you guys are purging your closets down in the comments and how what your process is. I'm always trying to make my process easier, so I'm gonna, I'm sure you guys can show me a thing or two or three or ten. Okay, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I just want to check in and let you know what I'm doing so my office or my cloth is it operates as my office and my closet it is an actual like spare bedroom in our house so it has a closet like a small walk-in closet so what I do is I use a small walk-in closet for the things that I don't wear and that are like off-season um, and that's how I transition from this clothing rack um, this clothing rack and my closet so the clothing rack is from Target. It's two of them put together. I think it's threshold. I'll, I'll link it down below because um, I, I do get a lot of questions about it. Um, I want to say I've linked it, but I'll link it again. So those of you who ask can use the link and check it out if you like. Um, but usually I just keep everything current season on this rack. That way when I get dressed, I don't have to go in there because in there, girl, in there is, it's a mess. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking everything that from last spring, last summer, bringing it out of that closet onto these racks. And at the same time, I'm sorting through whatever I did not wear last summer and last spring, putting it in this giveaway pile right here. And at the same time, as I make my way through the rack, I will pull off anything that is fall and winter. I know a bit much, but that's like how the process works in my head and how I'll get it done fast. I just want to let you guys know that. You guys, I'm like torn because I'm torn because this is such a cute dress. It came out with the Low Shack Fancy collection at Target. And I bought it, took some really nice pictures, but I also feel like I didn't wear it. I only wore it for the pictures and I didn't wear it at all out in 
the streets. So I think I'm going to give it away. I'm going to see if my little niece wants it um, or my little sister. Um, yeah. It's just so, it's just not me anymore. <laughs> it's got to go. I hate to part with it though. All right, so I just bought this lot out from the this lot. Girl, it's not a lot. Um, these five pieces out from my closet. And I pulled this blazer, right? And it still has the tags on it. Like, I'm so embarrassed because... <sighs> Why does it still have the tags on it? Why? Why are they still on there? Why haven't I worn this? And you know what? I think I bought this when I was still working in, like, corporate America. So once I stopped working, I didn't have to buy, like, corporate clothes as much. So I'm going to give this away. Um, but it is a nice, cute print for springtime. It's like that in-between. Uh, it's like a houndstooth plaid or whatever. But it's the perfect in-between piece for transitioning into a warmer season from a colder season. But, girl, it's got to go. It's not even, it doesn't even fit like the blazers that I purchased now. So that's another reason why it's got to go. Tags, it doesn't fit. Girl, it's got to go. This blazer is staying. I thrifted this. It's a, it's a Lauren by Ralph Lauren blazer and it's a denim blazer. Like you don't find these as much. So I'm going to keep this. And what I'm doing is on my on my rack out here i have specific hangers i have the felt hangers with like the gold um hardware or hanging part and those hangers only go on my clothing rack the the closet in there only has the plastic hangers because no one's going in my closet so i just like they, these visually make me happy we have this denim dress i'm going to wear that um denim to me is like a neutral so I pair it with anything colorful. I'm, I have a colorful bag, a colored bag on the way. Can't wait to show you guys. But this will pair perfectly with that bag for a nice spring look. Not too much color, just enough color. It's perfect. And I'm gonna put it on the side where I keep my dresses. And I try to kind of like color coordinate them or like put them in color order. So same colors go together from lightest to darkest. Um, I thrifted this don't really like how it fits I've worn it uh, I don't know maybe one time you know what I need the correct bra for it that's like my problem with most dresses is that I don't have the correct bra so I'm gonna get rid of this yeah I'm gonna get rid of that um, this girl, this gotta go because I'm not even about this life no more. Look, look how short. Girl, this is when I, oh, you know what? I went out, I bought this because I went out to my good friend's 30th birthday. So that was some years ago. <laughs> um, that was about three years ago. And I bought, I don't wear all black typically because I wore it so much while working at Mac. So when I go out, I, t I don't really like to wear all black i kind of prefer to have some color or some neutrals but it was an all black occasion we had to wear all black and of course i didn't have anything and it's a 30th birthday so you want to be flirty fun and 30 and i went to express and picked this up really quick it's actually a dress a skater dress with shorts underneath it i don't know she might need to stay <laughs> in case i wanna <laughs> you know like a, for a little vacation look she stay. I then I'd be breaking my rule. If I didn't wear it, then I gotta give it away. I'ma give it away. <laughs> I have this Zara jacket, this denim jacket that I purchased um, a few years ago. Girl, this came out and I had to have it. I wore it several times. I think I got my wear out of it, but I think I'm gonna send this to my little sister. She's in New Mexico. So I'm gonna put her package together. All right, so this next lot is pretty much shirts. I'm gonna go through and put aside, I'm gonna put what I'm keeping here, what I'm giving away here. All 
Okay, so I'm moving through this purge and I'm realizing like it's really intense. Um, very intense. I don't know what it is, but I'm going through a change. Okay, not the change of life, but I'm going through a change where I just want my clothing to really speak to who I currently am. And I say currently because we all go through changes and you know, you want to dress accordingly and you want to speak volumes through your wardrobe and it's okay. It's not a bad thing. It's just people change and their wardrobe should change with them. Um, so whatever I feel like I'm going through or have accomplished or um, I'm talking in a positive sense whatever I've accomplished or whatever I'm going through, I feel like my wardrobe, it's okay for it to mimic that and be in alignment with that. I don't know if that makes sense, but I go through this, you know, every few years where I do a major purge. I purge every year, but it's never like huge. This, this right here is huge. It's, it's huge. So I'm going to put this back in the closet. I'm thinking I'm going to keep these because I like this top for like fall and i like this top for fall um you know what no this gotta go because i never wore it this fall i never wore it so she gotta go see what i mean by intense i'm not i'm trying not to second guess my opinions or my thoughts on my wardrobe I'm trying to just go with it that way i get rid of what really needs to get rid of it's my first instinct to get rid of it so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna just go with that <sighs> okay guys these this right here is the giveaway pile i'm gonna fold it up neatly and then um put it in a bag i think we ran out of trash bags so i'm gonna figure that out but this is the giveaway pile it's really big <laughs> it's a little bit of everything i'm gonna fold it and then these are the hangers of the clothing that I got rid of from the small walk-in closet. So I'm going to organize those and hang them up either in, I'm going to spread them amongst everyone's closet. So if the kids need hangers, I'll put a little bit in there. If hubby needs hangers, I'll put some in his closet. I'll keep some for myself. And um, yeah, I thought that this bag would suffice for the giveaway pile, but clearly I'm on another level clearly okay um and this is what the clothing rack is looking like for spring and summer um my blazers are over here and they're like lightweight blazers they're not like wool or anything um i have this denim one i've got this one that i love this i can't wait to put this on um i've only worn it once i thrifted that one and I've got this uh, tan colored one, which is also a lightweight material. It's not wool or anything. And then I've got this tweed one, which I'm trying to figure out what to do with because it's cute and I need to make it work. Um, some jackets from Zara. I have this girl. This right here, you need, okay? I'm gonna link it down below for you. It's a two-piece set, a short set. So shorts on the bottom and then this cardigan on top. Hi, Low Lux and my girl Akita from Good Girlfriends. Honey, they put us, they put the girls on and I had to get this. I'm getting the other one because it's just that good. Um, and then I bought this two-piece set from H&M recently um, and some denim from, I think these are from Vicky Dolls feather denim um yeah so these are just dresses and floral feminine spring tops and then i have my bottoms hanging on this hanger so it's mostly um slip skirts satin slip skirts a pair of denim that i hauled i mean that i thrifted those are so good and yeah that's about it my shoes are on the bottom i'm gonna put once it starts getting really warm i'm gonna put my boots away but for now, they I do wear them, and my bags are in the middle. Now, I'm also going to purge these bags because I've been buying bags like crazy, and I need to slow my tail down. My iPad, you're sitting up on my iPad. Yeah. You are. You, you press the buttons. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What? One. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Mm-hmm. I'm only one room over. <laughs> <laughs> With these hugs. Okay, I don't know. No. This is what you like, right? This is what you like. Let's get close. Let's become one. <laughs> ow, ow. Now, see, this is where it goes left. Then we gotta fight. No, no. Don't fight. <laughs> Go away. I got everything cleaned up. I got my giveaway pile shipped out to the hallway. <laughs> and I found these on the floor while I was walking through my closet. And honey, I need to show you guys these. And these are fuller breast beauty friendly. So if you have fuller breasts like myself, I am a 30, I'm a I'm in between a 34 and 36 G. Uh yeah, big boobs over here. And I've always been heavy chested my whole life. Um honestly, like they just there. So I try to find tops that support them and like squeeze me and smooth me um, in that area. And I found these on Zara, right? I got two different kinds and two different colors, black and white. One is in my suitcase from vacation, but these are super cute underneath like cardigans or underneath like your button ups. If you want to wear your button up open, but you don't necessarily want to. If you want to wear a crop top, but you don't necessarily want to wear a crop top because of other areas like mommy bellies and um, love oh, handles. Uh uh. Anyways, um, if you don't want, if you want to wear a crop top and you don't want like your stomach hanging out, you feel insecure about you know your midriff area. This is the easy way to wear a crop top. Put like a button up on top of it, a cardigan um a cover up whatever these right here they have the best ribbing they're from zara i don't know if i mentioned that but they just hold you in so nicely like i'm telling you look how small this is girl look how small this is this is a size i think i got a size medium large yeah i got a size medium large and it just holds everything in the stretch is impeccable it's like a four-way well, it might be two, four, six way stretch. I don't even know if that exists, but this right here, you need it. I just wanted to put you girls on real quick um, while I clean it up off the floor. <laughs> kind of like confused about if I wanted to store my um designer bags in their dust bag I know that th that's what it's for or like in case of travel or anything but what I'm going to do is not keep them in their dust bags and I'm going to put it keep them in this bag here so I have all my dust bags in this bag and if I need them I will pull them out I'm going to store this probably like in that small closet um I'm just running out of space and honestly I'm over it. All right, guys, this is pretty much what I've come up with. I'm going to stop here because I have um, another video to record. Uh, so, of course, you have your tops. Or I have my, my bottoms right here. My tops, my sets, blazers, jackets, and dresses. I have shoes down below. And in the middle, in the middle, I have my purses. Soon, I'm going to have to get another shelf for my purses. I'm thinking of putting it in that corner um, or maybe I can put it in the middle and separate these two and then I'll have my purses down in the middle. I love purses so I'm, I'm collecting them more avidly so pray for me. But yeah this is what I have. I took out the boxes. I had some just like when I buy my designer items you know the boxes we all want to keep but I think it's time to get rid of them. Mm-hmm. 
well except for the chanel box i'm gonna keep the chanel box but um and the chanel bag that houses the dust bags but the louis vuitton box can go the gucci box can go um yeah i'm pretty much this is what i have i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you're purging your closet how you do it what's your method we all are trying to grow over here so help your girl out and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye